Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel again. Welcome back to another DLSS frame generation mod video. In the game I'm today taking a look at is uh, called The Alters, which is not a AAA title but uh, a very good game if uh, you are into a space horror thriller type of uh, category. So yeah, this is a third person horror type of game, uh, thriller type of game, and. Uh, developing unreal engine and you can see my fps right now it's uh, around uh, 80 to 90 fps yeah sometime reaching higher 90s i have not installed the mod right now i'm playing it on 1080p graphics quality is on medium dlss uh, i'll set it on quality probably for now and uh, yeah the fps is uh, almost around 80 to 90 so yeah it's gonna be simple straightforward modding video nothing too much fancy in this one so yeah let's start this video now get it on, never slip through my fingers. all right we will be needing this zip now we're gonna extract it to the desktop also you will need nv api if you are on amd gpu and you cannot see the dlss after testing the mod so gonna copy everything in the directory then gonna go to the installation directory of the game for me which is here the alters after that again go to the alters uh, again go to the alters yeah it's three times the alters after that binaries win64 and where the alters shipping.exe is located i'm gonna paste the mod right here after pasting you don't need to do anything i have already tweaked and done everything uh, so you just need to paste the mod and uh, paste the nv api also if you cannot see the dlss in game and if you are on md gpu and yeah after that uh, try to turn on the hags hacks and then boot back to the game so yeah i'll boot back in the game and i'll show you how much fps we're getting can't buy full price pc games then get xbox game pass ultimate at just 15.99 rupees looking for cheap pc hardware then join the discord from the link in the description below all right so i'm back in the game uh, same location again uh, now this game might be compatible with uh, optiframe generation mod with footfix also but uh, uh, whenever you have dlss mg in game try to use that one because that is uh, more compatible with the foot fixes and everything because OptiFG will always give you a little bit flicker issue if you are using any kind of overlay software so yeah, anyway, uh, let's head to the setting to activate the frame generation, go to graphics, then scroll down here and if you have done everything correctly, activated the hacks and everything, you should now be able to use the DLSS. So I'm gonna set it on quality. Uh, you will see frame generation has also come online, so I'm gonna activate that and low latency also and then click on a space. Now it will show you to restart the game one time. So yeah, I'm gonna restart the game real quick. All right, I have restarted the game and as you guys can see that frame generation is already working. I didn't need to do anything, but yeah, I'm just gonna go to the setting once more and just uh, gonna confirm that it's working. Yeah, the frame generation is on and you guys can see FPS has reached to 120, yeah, 130, 40 sometimes even uh, without recording. You can press INS slash insert again uh, if you want to use any kind of other upscalers such as there is a 3.1.4. Uh, now you will not see DLSS here uh, if you have uh, non-RTX card this Optis DLSS will not be visible to you only the in-game DLSS will be visible to you so yeah you can use FSA 3.1.4 which is also not that bad uh, you can also use XSS 2.0.1 which is also again great uh, but a little bit smoother so use some sharpness with it and yeah this will be it for this video uh, if it helps you consider subscribing to the channel Join Discord for cheap games, Netflix, Google OneDrive subscription and many many more things. I will see you guys in the next one.